<laughs> no, um, my, oh, you know, the people at my reception, they watch doctors all the time. They are real big fans of doctors and they have it on with the surgery. But because I look so different, do you know what I mean? Actually, there's some of them who were a bit surprised when somebody said, she's off doctors, one of them that she's not. So it's a, it, it's, um, yeah, it's a bit of a surprise. But it, it just makes you realise that it's a, it's a, it's a pretty, it's a pretty relentless, you know, it's a relentless job. It is a relentless job. Um, receptionists, GPs, it's relentless. And, I, and sometimes we don't give them the credit that they deserve because it's such a wide field. You've got to know every, a little bit about everything, don't you? Do you know what I mean? So it's, uh, I have the utmost respect for anybody in the sort of medical, or anybody, you know, nurses, doctors, NHS. I, bam, I duff my cap. Do you think you could cope doing the job for real? I think I'd be wicked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but I'm just a receptionist. I'm just a receptionist, so I could, you know what I mean. I would love to do that. I love working with people. I think it's that. Do you know what I mean? I think you have to have a real. You have to get on with people and um, have that respect for them. And I, you know what I mean. So I think anybody who's, who's got that would make a, an amazing receptionist. And what about the viewers? What kind of fan reaction do you get? I think it's really. I, I, I think it, Mrs. Temby is like Marmite. I think you either love her. You can't bear the sight of the woman. Um, which is a brilliant character to play, do you know what I mean? Because sometimes they'll, people who actually love her go, I didn't like that storyline. And people who didn't like her before go, oh my God, I've seen another side to her that I didn't know was there. And that's quite interesting, how you can sort of uh, play with people's emotions and they're with you sometimes and against you others. And that's brilliant. I think that's a whole idea of really good drama. That you, you can't be all good all the time. I think it's great that you can change that. Yeah, but on the whole, they absolutely love. They love her. They really do love her because she's quite complicated. Do you know what I mean? Sort of Christian, and she's quite forthright, and the sort of the, the romance story softened all the edges about, and people quite enjoyed seeing that. Do you know what I mean? She's quite vulnerable. I think she's a very it's interesting character to play. Pick any guest actor. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> Do you know what? Okay, listen to this, man. I've already put it out there because sometimes when you put it out there, it happens, doesn't it? Me and Denzel. <laughs> I've, I've already put it out there because sometimes you never know. It might be looking at a Hello magazine or something like that and go, like, oh, "That's interesting." <laughs> I've not seen that lady before. She looks hot. I'm not. A, I'm not a... <laughs> so I've already put it out. I've already put it out there. It'd be, I think it'd be awesome. And is there anything exciting coming up for Mrs. Temby over the next few months? Uh, the, the thing about Denzel, I'm still pushing it. <laughs> I'm still pushing it. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I mean, we've um, we're always uh, we're all. I mean, we're way ahead at the moment. We're, we're, what we're seeing now is September's worth of stuff. Do you know what I mean? So things are still being developed and you're still saying, I'd quite like and quite like, I'd quite like to have a romance and I'd quite like that to be developed. But actually, until they go, all right, then we're going to get the writer, they send them off and best scripts come in and until that happens, you just go, all right, okay, let's concentrate on this vast amount of work that we've got to do now, really. So well, hopefully there will be another romance for her. I really, really enjoy doing that. I really, really would. There's no hope for uh, Mrs. Temby and Hester then. No! You know what? When it all started, it was all googly eyes for Hester. <laughs> but I think it would be a crying shame because after... You, and you know that they wouldn't be able to last. You know they'd split up and then you go, well, where do you go from there? Do you know what I mean? And I think the relationship's changed as well between them. They are very, very good friends now. And I think that sort of... Um, that. I think, yeah, that utmost... She was, yeah, she was flirty with him when she started, but actually, I think they're best, best of friends. I think if we started anything now, one of them would have to leave. <laughs> Too shameful. <laughs>